A question I had was, what if we had Autogen create agents for us and of those agents, it selects which ones are best for the task that we ask it to execute. Well, I'm going to show you that today with something called Agent Builder. Let's get started. All right, well, what is Agent Builder? Well, simply, this means that Autogen is going to give us a way to provide a list of agent names, and then Autogen is going to do the rest. We're going to ask it to build something from a specific task, and it's going to create all these agents with the system messages for each of them, and then it's going to select which of those that we want to use or it wants to use to execute the task. Okay, well, the next thing is, what is the process that we're going to be coding? Well, the first thing is we have the configuration down, like the config list and the LLM config, which we have done before. And then finally, we have a way to generate the agents. Then they're going to be saved into a JSON file. And then we're going to create the agent builder, which is just a class that we instantiate. And then we call the build from library function, which is something new. And then finally, we have it executing the task. And what this is going to do is when we execute the task, it's going to go back through, generate the agents, create the agent builder, and then select which ones are best. And then finally, when it selects the agents, execute the task. Well, let's start creating a new project and start coding. All right, go ahead and open up your IDE. I use PyCharm Community Edition, which is free. So I'm going to go ahead and file, new project, and let's just name this agent builder. So now I'm going to hit create. Okay, there are a couple libraries that we need to install. So just open up your terminal, and you're going to say pip install py, py autogen, and chroma db okay this is needed for agent builder so go ahead and run that and whenever that's done it's going to take a couple minutes because chroma db has a lot we'll come back okay the first file we're going to create is something called utility and what this is going to have for us is all of the tasks the system prompt for all of the agents which is going to be one prompt and then a list of all the agents we would like autogen to create for us let's go ahead and do that we're going to new Python file and call it utility. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to copy and paste all this because we don't need to go through everything here. But uh, what I'm going to have is a building task, an execution task. This is a system prompt that Autogen is going to use whenever it creates all the system messages for the agents, which when we get there, I'll show you what I mean. And then something just called a position list. And these are the names of all of the agents we want Autogen to create for us, but we're not going to actually uh, create the system messages for each. That's what this agent system prompt is for. All right, so now let's create our main Python file, and then this will make a little more sense. So come up here, new Python file, and just call it main. There's a couple things we need to do here is we're going to import JSON, import the class or the Python file we just created, and so import utility, and then import autogen, and then finally from autogen.agentchat contribution dot agent builder import agent builder okay now that we're done with all the imports there's some variables that we need to create and then the config list so let's get started first thing is going to have a variable called config file or env we're going to call this oai config underscore list and we'll we'll end up creating a file called this which will store the api key in the model and then next thing is we'll have llm config is equal to and then Temperature, we'll just make this, um, let's, let's make this, how about 0 0.7, 0 0.7. Okay, and then we need our config list variable, which is going to be autogen, and we're going to use a function from autogen to get it from JSON. So config list from JSON, and we just need to pass in the name of it, which is we have stored in the variable up here. And then we need to pass in a filter dictionary and we're just simply gonna have model and then what we do is we just give the model that we actually want to use and this is just going to be ggpt-4 okay so then whenever it goes to retrieve the model from this file oai config list it's also going to retrieve the api key for this gpt next we're going to have position list is equal to utility dot position list and then the agent prompt is going to be equal to utility dot agent system message prompt. So we just have, I just have variables in here. So it kind of maybe makes a little bit more sense, but we're just getting all these from the utility Python file that we just created. And next, what we need is whenever Autogen creates the agents, it's got to store them in a JSON file. So we need to give it a path and a name. So we're going to say library underscore path or JSON. And this is the name of the parameter when we get to building the agents that it'll use. So I just use the same uh, variable name. 
is going to be equal to, you can say just dot slash, and it will be within the agent builder directory up here. So we'll just create it here for us. And then the name, we can just say um, agents dot JSON. And then we're going to need something called a build manager, which is autogen dot open AI wrapper. And it's just a wrapper class. Config list is equal to our config list. And then we're going to have a system message list is equal to just an empty array right now. And we're going to append to this all the system messages and the names of each agent that Autogen creates for us. Now that we created that, what we need to do is create the open AI config list file. So create a new file, config OAI underscore config underscore list. And you're just simply going to have an array here, this, and we're going to say model GPT-4, whoops, GPT T4, geez, if I can type, and then API underscore key, and then SK dash, whatever your API key is, you're going to put it here. So this is going to be our OAI config file that we're going to use to actually run everything. All right, now what we need is the function to generate the agents. So we're going to say def generate agents for position in position list. So this is going to iterate through all of the names of the agents that we have provided. And then we're going to say response agent system message is equal to, and now we're going to say build manager, the one, this open AI wrapper up here, we're going to say build manager dot create, and then messages, this is going to be an array and we need a role and the role is going to be user. And then we need the content and this is going to be agent underscore prompt dot format. And this is just gonna, and this is just going to format the variables that we're going to pass in here. So, the position, and then the default sys message is going to be equal to autogen, and we're just going to pass in the assistant agent dot default system message from this create function, which is from the open AI wrapper. We just say dot choices, get the first one, dot message dot content and all this create method from the build manager which again is just the open ai wrapper this is basically sending us a completion which a completion is just what the model generates in response to our input and then finally we're going to say system message list dot append and then we need a few things here we need the name which is going to be the name of the agent and then we need the crawl the profile which is going to be the response that we just got above. And understand this is a lot so far. Once we run this, this will make more sense, okay? So just keep following along and we'll get there. And the last function we're gonna create is just called start task. So def start underscore task. This is gonna, uh, we're gonna take an execution task which is just a string, and then the list of the agents. Okay, and this is probably something you're gonna be more familiar with. So group underscore chat is equal to autogen dot group chat. And then we say agents equals the agent list that we passed in and then messages we're going to leave empty array and then max round let's just set to 12. and then we have the group chat manager so manager is going to be equal to autogen.group chat manager and then we say group chat is equal to the group chat and then llm config is going to be equal to the config list so oops config list property and then config list and then finally, and then what we can do to pass in the LLM config is you can just say star star LLM config. And this is kind of like the extra parameter that we'll have. Oops, made a mistake there. That's supposed to be a colon. And the next thing we need to do is grab the first agent in the list because we want to initiate the chat with it. So initiate underscore chat, and then manager, and then message is going to be equal to the execution task that we have provided as a parameter. Now that we've got all the variables set up and the functions, let's start executing these functions whenever we go to run this file. So the first thing is we're gonna have generate underscore agents. So this is gonna generate the agents for us. And then we have json.dump and we're gonna provide the system message list, which was created from the generate agent. So it's kind of really the agents. And then we want to open library path or JSON. So this is the path of the variable that we had created up here. So we want to store everything into this JSON file here. So now that we come back down and then you just have W for write, 
And then finally, just indent equals four. Okay, just kind of format a little bit. All right, now we're gonna have a, a new variable called new builder, which is gonna be, now we're creating the agent builder object. So agent builder. And then we need to pass in the config or file env. So we already created that. This is the parameter for it. So config, file, or env. Maybe it would make a little more sense if, I, if you highlight over, or at least here, or you can like kind of click into it. Okay, so we need the config file or env, which is the environment of the configuration. And then we're gonna need the builder model. So as you can see, it defaults to GPT-4. So we already say GPT-4, but you know, you could give it something else. So also the agent model defaults to GPT-4. So if you wanted to give it a separate GPT, like 3.5 turbo or some GPT-4 preview, you could set that, um, you could set that in the agent builder. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, use those. This is just so you kind of have an idea of what to do next. So I'm gonna create these. I'm gonna create these parameters for the agent builder. So builder underscore model is this is gonna be equal to GPT-4 and then the agent model. So the builder model, which builds the agents. And then when the agents are chosen, what model do we want to use for those agents? So this will be GPT-4 as well, just for now. And then we're done. Okay, now we've created the agent builder. The next thing is we need to execute that build from library function that I mentioned before. Next, we're gonna say agent underscore list, comma and underscore, and this is gonna be equal to new builder dot build from library. Okay, this underscore here, this means that the build from library can, it will return two different things, but we only care about the first one, which is the actual agent list. All right, so what do we pass in here? Well, we're gonna pass in the utility dot, which is from the file. Okay, we're gonna pass in the building task, okay, to build the agents, the library path or JSON. And then this is the path where we stored and generated all the agents. And then finally, LLM config. And then I'm gonna say saved path is gonna be equal to new builder dot save. And then we're gonna give a path to save uh, all, everything it's gonna do for this iteration of generating the agents. Um, creating the prompts, uh, everything here is gonna be saved in the file that I'm about to create. So we'll say auto gen underscore agent AB for agent builder. All right, and I'll, I'll show you what this is in a second. And then finally, we can start the task. So start underscore task, and then the execution task that we define is utility dot execution task. And then agent list is gonna be equal to agent list. And then finally, you can say new builder dot clear all agents and this is just going to clear all the agents from the cache okay so that the next time through it can create new ones that was a lot i know i know but thank you for following along now i'm just going to grab my open ai key insert it here and i'm going to run it and see what happens okay now i just ran it and we're going to see it in action but one thing before we get started is this because of the update to 0 0.2.8 if you have docker running fine perfect it's going to work however if you don't have docker running or you don't even have it installed what you have to do before you run this is you say export autogen underscore use underscore docker equals false. And then that'll locally execute the code. If you don't have this, in the last video I had last week, I talked about this update and it could be breaking. So either put this, uh, execute this in the terminal before you run it, or if you have docker running, then you're fine. Okay, but do that and then run your main Python file. Now I already run this because I ran into that issue. And what happened was it created this agents.json file for me, which I'll look at in a second, looking for suitable agents in the library, which is there. And it found four, it found software developer, programmer, IT specialist, and AI engineer. Okay. Not, I don't know if so necessarily know if we need the AI engineer because all I asked it to do was to create a Python function that reverses a string. Okay. But either way, then it generates the system message, preparing the system message for each of them, creating the agents, which basically means it's now it's gonna use those agents to perform this task. And then it's building the configuration that's gonna be used for this run through um, to create the Python function that reverses a string. So now we have the software developer who has this code here that reverses a string and it documents it, right? So it's saying, takes the input and then just reverses it. Um, and then it just, you know, all you do is take colon, colon, negative one, and it'll just reverse the string for you. Um, and then it says the user, con the, basically the user is going to execute the code. And then the programmer says, seems you didn't provide any code to execute, blah, blah, blah. The function is ready to be used. Okay. So then the programmer's talking, then it goes back to the user, the user saying, okay, well, this doesn't exist. 
and then the software developer um, gives you the full code and and then the test function also. So now the user does it, it works, great, and then finally we're terminate. So as you can see, we didn't even get to the AI engineer, okay? And that's something I want to talk about. Part of this, you know, this is great. It still needs some fine tuning. It's not perfect, but it can still solve the task, right? And then finally here it says all agents have been cleared. So the next time around, if you want to do the same thing, you can probably use the same cache. It's still going to create new agents for you. So you might still get a little bit of a different outcome. Now, if we look at the agents.json here, you can see here it created, we, we provide the name, but then it created the system message for each of these. Okay, so if you just scroll down this whole JSON file, it created all of these for us and it selected four of these. Right here, you can see is the IT specialist, the AI engineer. Uh, let's see, we have the programmer and the software developers right here. Okay, so it selected those for us and you can give it however as many names as you want or different names, whatever it is, okay? And then for this specific run, it saved it in this autogen underscore uh, auto builder, that file that I told it to save to. And then it says, be able, to be able to create a Python function with documentation on how it works. So this is the building task, okay? This is what I want, how, like what I wanted to build, all right? And then the agent configuration is, see the name, the model, the agent is used, and then it created this system message for the for the software developer and the description okay and it did this for all of them all right see the coding set to true the default llm is 0 0.7 and then the code execution execution configuration is the working directory is group chat use docker is false because i had it export the autogen use docker uh, environment variable to false and then this had a default timeout Okay, and this is the configuration it used to run or execute the task. Okay, so we just created something with Agent Builder, which as you can see is kind of awesome. It allows you to just give a list of names and a single prompt, which you can copy and use, and you can give it different names to do different tasks, and it will try to perform that task for you by letting Autogen select which, which agents make sense for the task that you want to perform. This is just a basic rundown of how to do something with it, how it works. I'm sure this is going to be improved. As you can see, it didn't even use one of the agents. It didn't even use the AI engineer. So there's still a lot of improvement that needs to be made. But the concept, the concept is good. The concept, I really like that we can allow AI to do more of the task for us, including which agents need to solve the task. Okay, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. There will be more videos here for you to watch about Autogen. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.